Hi, this is Erin with Five Parks Yoga. Thank you so much for joining me for another bedtime story. If you want to see more content like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. This is from the bedtime story series. The story that I'm going to read you this evening is the parable of the potato, egg, and coffee bean. So I hope you enjoy it. There's no yoga involved, so please just make yourself comfortable, close your eyes, connect to your breath, and just relax. Once upon a time, a daughter complained to her father that her life was miserable and dreary. She grumbled that she was tired of fighting and struggling all the time and not getting anywhere. It seemed that life was just one problem after another. Her father, a chef, took her to the kitchen. He filled three pots with water and placed each on a high fire. Once the three pots began to boil, he placed potatoes in one pot, eggs in the second pot, and ground coffee beans in the third pot. He then let them sit and boil without saying a word to his daughter. The daughter, moaned and impatiently waited, wondering what he was doing. After 20 minutes, he turned off the burners. He took the potatoes out of the pot and placed them in a bowl. He pulled the eggs out and placed them in a bowl. He then poured the coffee out and placed it in a mug. Turning to her, he asked, daughter, what do you see? Potatoes, eggs, and coffee, she hastily replied. Look closer, he said, and touch the potatoes. She did and noticed that they were soft. He then asked her to take an egg and break it. After pulling off the shell, she observed the hard boiled egg. Finally, he asked her to sip the coffee. Its rich aroma and warmth brought a smile to her face. Father, what does this mean? She asked. He then explained that the potatoes, the eggs, and the coffee beans had each faced the same adversity, the boiling water. However, each one reacted differently. The potato went in strong, hard, and unrelenting, but in boiling water, it became soft and weak. The egg was fragile, with the thin outer shell protecting its liquid interior until it was put in the boiling water. Then the inside of the egg became hard. However, the ground coffee beans were unique. After they were exposed to the boiling water, they changed the water and created something new. Which are you? He asked his daughter. When adversity and trouble knocks on your door, how do you respond? Are you a potato, an egg, or a coffee bean? In life, things happen around us. Things happen to us. But the thing that truly matters is what happens within us. We have the power to choose new ways of responding to life in any, mo in any moment. So which one are you? The potato, the egg, or the coffee bean? And which one will you choose to be? Thank you so much for joining me for this story. This evening, as you go forward, may you have peace in your thoughts, peace in your words, and peace in your heart. Namaste.